guys, welcome back to my channel. So this month, I'm gonna focus on something a little bit different. I know that we usually do DIY and how-to videos, but this month, in light of what's going on in the world, I think that if you have a YouTube platform, that it is a great idea to use that to help put information out there. So nothing that I'm going to shoot with respect to this virus situation is meant to be sensationalized or cause panic or any of those things. It's just that as I observe these independent media outlets and YouTube channels bringing information, a lot of the people that I see are men, which is wonderful and I love so many of these channels, but I do not see a lot of women speaking on this issue and I just have a lot of general information that I have kind of looked into myself and I thought it might be helpful for some of you as we kind of hear this continuous press coverage. So the first, I think it's six videos are going to be just about pandemic kind of definitions. Like what do these terms mean that the press keeps throwing around? So you'll probably see me look down a couple times because I have a sheet of paper to kind of keep me on track. But I thought it would just be really helpful for everybody to just understand when you hear this word, what does this actually mean? Because so, so many of these terms are just getting thrown out there. And it's not stuff that we're used to because we're not used to having pandemics. So, all right. So obviously I'm talking about the coronavirus, NCOV, SARS-CoV-2, COVID-19. It has like 10 names. I'm gonna address that in a different video why that is. But I'm gonna to try to do these definition videos in little blocks, one building upon the next. So if you're just tuning in and you're finding this, you know, know that you'll see one through six or one through eight, whatever it ends up being, and then if you find one later, you can always go back. So let's get started. All right, so patient X, case X, or index case. This is meant to refer to the first observed person in an epidemic or outbreak type of situation. And that doesn't mean that it's the first person that ever had it. It means that it's the first person that is being medically observed. So whenever you hear we're looking for case X or person X, that's what they're talking about. Okay, zoonotic means that and some of these I'm just going to read straight from the definitions that I have put together for myself. Um, zoonotic or zoonosis is an infectious disease caused by bacteria, viruses, or parasites that spread from non-human animals, usually vertebrates, to humans. So that's what that means. Zoonotic, you hear a lot of this, you know, is it zoonotic or is it a bioweapon? Basically, you know, is it naturally occurring? That's what they're talking about, okay? A bioweapon is a biological agent um, is a bacterium, virus, parasite, or fungus that can be used purposely, purposefully, excuse me, as a weapon in bioterrorism or biological warfare. So I know that there is a lot of discussion about whether this virus was leaked from the facility in Wuhan. I'm not going to get into that on this channel. I'm just letting you know that that is what a bioweapon is. Of course, all over the world, we study different agents, different things so that we can understand what they do. And then of course, Sometimes they study those things so that they can weaponize them, but that's what that term means. Okay, a pathogen is um, anything that can produce disease, basically, is a pathogen. So that one's pretty simple. All right, a virus is a small infectious agent that replicates only inside the living cells of another organism. So, um, and there's a term, but I can't remember, it's very medically, but basically this virus has to exist inside of a person, inside of a host. So that's what that term means. Okay, we've heard a lot of different names getting kicked around about this virus. And specifically, we've heard the word novel, novel coronavirus. So what does that mean? Novel just means that it's new. It, um, here's a technical definition. Novel refers to a virus that has not been seen before. So that just means that it's something that we don't have immunity to and we have never before seen. So that's what they meant when they said novel coronavirus. Okay, what is a coronavirus? A coronavirus is any group of RNA viruses that cause a variety of diseases in humans or animals. So we currently know of seven different coronaviruses, right? You have the first four, which cause the everyday cold and flu. Then you have SARS, or um, excuse me, SARS, no, SARS, MERS, and then this particular um, virus, whatever you want to call it, um, SARS and COV-2. Okay, so this specific virus is not a coronavirus. I mean, it is, but coronavirus is the entire family of that particular type of virus, okay, an RNA virus. What does RNA mean? RNA is ribonucleic acid, um, and basically it says that it's any of a class of single-stranded molecules transcribed from DNA in the cell nucleus or in the mitochondrion or chloroplast. So it's different from a DNA, virus, it's an RNA virus, so 
That's what this one is. Okay, what is an outbreak? An outbreak in epidemiology is a sudden increase in occurrences of a disease in a particular time and place. So that's what that means. When you hear outbreak, it just means that there was nothing or there was something very small, and then all of a sudden you have this you know, large spike or this increase over what would be considered the norm. Um, epicenter is the central point of something, and it typically is referring to something that's unpleasant, you know, like a natural disaster, or in this case, Wuhan is the epicenter because that is where patient X was observed. That is where the first outbreak occurred, so epicenter. Okay, epidemic is a widespread occurrence of an infectious disease in a community at a particular time. So in Wuhan, there is an epidemic. In South Korea, there is an epidemic. Well, I mean, the technical definition for epidemic may swing a little bit here or there, but basically you're looking at, you know, you have larger growth in an area. Okay, infodemic, and I'm sure we've all heard this because the World Health Organization and a lot of the media is talking about how a lot of people are sort of sensationalizing information. So the attempt to kind of contain and control that information, whether some of it is true or not true. Okay, so infodemic is an excessive amount of information concerning a problem such that the solution is made more difficult. Now, I don't know if I agree with that particular statement because I think in a situation like this, when you're dealing with a novel coronavirus, all information is good information. Sure, some people are gonna miss the mark, but I think overall, more information is better than less information. But that's what that refers to, is this kind of sudden influx of information entering the media marketplace, however you wanna call that, um, and that it is all centralized around something. In this case, of course, the coronavirus. Okay, um, and then, you know, the P word, that everybody, the whole world waits on there. You know, it's a cliffhanger right now, um, pandemic, all right? The word pandemic comes from the Greek pandemos, which means everybody, and demos means the population, so pandemic. And then pan meaning everyone. So pandemos is a concept where there's a belief that the whole world's population will likely be exposed to this infection and potentially a proportion of them fall sick. So that's why you don't hear the World Health Organization. I'm gonna to touch on this in, in other videos as we go forward. Pandemic would be widespread, excuse me, widespread epidemics in multiple World Health Organization regions. So that's the technical qualifier for how do you get to a pandemic? And I think that's why we haven't seen them declare a pandemic. Whether you agree with that or not, that's, that's the qualifier. Okay, and then endemic is, and this is the last one. Endemic is natural to or characteristic of a specific people or place. Um, the short version on endemic, and you've probably heard them say, you know, we think that it's gonna go through the population and then at some point it'll resurge and then after a while it will become endemic. And this means that it's something that we just kind of learn to live with. Like we have the seasonal flu, that is endemic. Um, so that's basically what it is. So those are the definitions for part one, and I will be filming part two a little bit later today and uploading that. I hope you find this information helpful. If you do, feel free to leave a like, a comment, or subscribe. Um, none of these videos are monetized because this is not about money. This is about during a world health crisis that if there's a way in which you can contribute, that you should do that. Um, not in a way that causes fear or panic, but in a way that helps the general population understand what are these terms that we're hearing what, what kind of an impact could that have on my life? You know, it's always better to be informed than to be in the dark. So that is the purpose of these videos. I hope you found them helpful. If you did, feel free to share them with anybody. And of course, leave your comments below and I will get back to them as soon as I'm able to do so. If you have any questions that you want me to answer in future videos, please also leave that down below. I really appreciate you guys listening to this. I hope this brought you some kind of comfort to just sort of have a better understanding of all these crazy terms that are flying around and I will see you in part two. Take care guys, bye-bye.